Ladies and gentlemen, little bit of that wrestling talk there right here on the new Wrestling Jesus channel. Subscribe today, folks. Um, God's here 10 reasons why Kenny Omega sucks. Number one, he's bad at promos, folks, for... The supposed greatest of all time. His promos are pretty fucking shitty. You know what I mean? He's pretty much trash and awkward and just overall terrible at promos. Number two, he's a bad actor. You know, whether it's his cheesy comedy on YouTube with the Young Bucks... Or just him cutting the promo or trying to get anything over. He just comes off as a bad actor doing cheesy overacting. You know what I mean? It's just hard to take what he does seriously. Whether it's, you know, a big ma match coming up against Pac... Or fucking Orange Cassidy there. Because those are serious matches there. When he's cutting promos for this shit. It just comes off goofballish. And not serious. You know. So a bad actor there. Number three. No real charisma or character. You know. He just comes off as a big goof. What is he exactly? You know what I mean? I don't get it. It's just weird stuff overall. A Japanese fetish. He's a cleaner. Whatever the fuck this means there. Apparently it's a video game reference. He likes games. Okay, but what is he as a character? What is he supposed to be? Where's the charisma? He's bland as fuck and just straight up weird on the microphone. Which leads me to number four. He's a fucking weirdo overall there. And just does a bunch of weird shit. Whether it's dressing up as Princess Jasmine for wrestling, you know? Putting his hands inside other man's asses. You know, he does weird sexual shit with other men in a bunch of matches. It's a bunch of weird fucking stuff. Like, some of the stuff from DDT wrestling or whatever in Japan. It's just straight up bizarre. It's not fun, it's not funny, it's just weird, bizarre shit, you know? Oh, he's so great in Japan, you look up Kenny in Japan, it's all fucking freak stuff, like, the fuck is this shit, you know? Number five, he's overrated in the ring, you know what I mean? They say that he's... The greatest in-ring competitor of all time, which is a fucking joke. You know, personally, I don't like his style. His wannabe Japanese style. And again, the stuff that Cornette said about him in the ring. He's, he looks very, very goofy in the ring, so... It's, he looks bad in the ring sometimes. The constant knees and... A bunch of German suplexes. We apparently hate it when Lesnar does this. When he does it, it's okay to spam the same shit over and over. Like, he's very overrated in the ring and that causes a negative. When people hear that he's the greatest in-ring wrestler of all time. And then they see it, it's like, uh, wait, what? Like, no, you're not the, the best, certainly not even close to being the best. So it causes a negative with real fans who aren't mental, you know what I mean? Number six, he is not a draw, folks, in AEW <clears throat> and anywhere else that he wrestles. 
does not bring the ratings as champ. He just doesn't. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Number seven doesn't live up to the hype. He's the best. Oh, wait, when the cleaner comes out in AEW, he's going to bring wrestling to the next level. He's going to prove how great he is. McMahon is dead when Kenny turns heel and the cleaner comes out. Big fucking fail, big flop. Couldn't live up to that hype, and that is a fucking fact. You know what I mean? Number eight. The bullshit about him being the greatest of all time. That's what it is. Pure fiction. Pure bullshit. The Undertaker. A 30-year amazing career in wrestling. Won championships. Wrestled all the greats, folks. Okay. The people don't even put Taker... In the conversation of greatest of all time. You know what I mean? And you're telling me that Kenny Omega is better than The Undertaker, for example. 30 years, all of these historic matches. And he's better than Taker simply because he had a couple of good matches with Okada. According to Dave Meltzer, so a couple of matches of with Okada in Japan that nobody has seen. This makes him better than The Undertaker overall. That's fucking mental. That is main, my maniacal, uh, whatever the fuck. English is my second language, folks. It's crazy, folks. You gotta be a maniac to believe this. Insane. Maniacal. That's the word, ladies and gentlemen. It's fucking maniacal, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest of all time. Better than Taker. Better than Shawn Michaels. Better than Bret Hart. Better than Ric Flair. Better than The Rock. Bruno San Martino, eight years straight almost as WWE champ. And Kenny Omega is better than this. Fuck that, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck that. You know what I mean? Makes no fucking sense and it's crazy. And it makes him look bad. What makes him look even worse is the fact that he believes this about himself. And he attacks Jim Ross because Ross made the mistake of thinking that Orton is better than him, like, and we're supposed to believe that, better than Taker, Michaels, all the fucking greats, get a fucking clue, get a life if you actually believe this, like, Meltzer isn't that important, you know what I mean, because that's where these ideas come from, from the mind of Meltzer, he claimed these lies, Oh, Kato and, and Kenny is seven-star match. So that means he's better than Taker. That makes no sense, folks. Only he believes this. Only the psychos who believe Meltzer believe this because they're fucking fucked in the head. I mean, let's get serious here, fuck. Number nine, Roman Reigns is better then Kenny Omega, folks, it's not even a fucking, not even close. Roman Reigns better than Kenny Omega, folks. And do we have to say that Roman's is the greatest of all time? No, people don't have to say this shit. Why do you say this about Kenny or whatever, like? But Roman is definitely better than Omega, folks. All right. And number 10, his fans fucking suck, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny is the best. Kenny, 300-pound morons, folks, with sweaty armpits wearing Young Bucks t-shirts there. Kenny's the best. He's the best. 
Because he plays video games. You guys have no fucking life. Kenny likes anime. He likes Japanese stuff. Like I do. He's a weird fuck like me. He can talk Japanese. I learned to talk Japanese so I could watch the animes from Japan. Kenny watches that too. He's a retard just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Kenny's fans. Those are the people saying he's the greatest of all time. People who haven't left their mother's basement in 15 fucking years. Because they can't fit through the doorway, ladies and gentlemen. Not enough oxygen to fucking climb the stairs. They'd fucking go right through the stairs if they tried to walk out of mama's basement. A bunch of fucking freaks. And sadly, these freaks are taking over the wrestling world, folks. And it's a shame. A damn shame, folks. So Kenny is definitely not the greatest of all time. Matter of fact, he sucks. In my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. In my opinion there. Until next time, peace!